hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i have another pick a pile pick a card this will this reading will be what makes you so 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 pretty so we're gonna tap into what others find very very pretty about you um this will be very interesting fun so i have three piles to choose from today the first pile will be clear quartz get crystal clear second pile will be the hematite ground yourself and then the third pile will be Golden Healer Quirks, Open the Door. Um, so whichever one resonates the most with you, whichever one, you know, gravitates towards your eye the most, um, pick that pile. If you're drawn to more than one, pick more than one. So yeah, I'll see you at your reading. Hello, pile one. So if you chose the Clear Quirks, this will be your reading on what is so pretty about you, pile one. So we're gonna tap into what's so pretty about you. So yeah, let's get into your reading. What is so pretty about Pile 1? What makes Pile 1 attractive to others? What's so pretty about Pile 1? Pretty about <laughs> what's pretty about Paul one? Okay. Grow the that's a pretty card. You could be attracted to a lot of greens during this time. It doesn't have to be a deep green like this. It could be light greens, it could be past, you know, it could be any type of greens. I just feel like you're attracted to green the color greens right now, or just earthy colors could be or plants. Um you could have a green thumb urge to go out and buy plants to be a plant mommy um in that empress mode right now i'm just getting like the empress energy from you pile one where you're just so like beautiful you're so fun and soft you're like a soft energy to be around people love your aura people love your smile um you have a very very pretty smile pretty teeth um you could be a little insecure about your teeth, but people love making you smile, making you laugh. A lot of your friends and lovers and strangers wish you would smile more. So what I'm getting from that is like if you were to go to the grocery store or to the park or just hanging out and you go to a particular place more than often and you just see people that you just cross paths with every now and then like, hey, hello, whatever, you don't really know them. I'm getting to know they're like people that see you every now and then like weekly or something like that they wish you would smile more they think you would look very pretty smiling or they've seen you smile and it looks really really like you look very beautiful when you smile your whole face lights up i'm getting just a very fun energy from you and it's probably why you picked the clear chords because that's all about impl amplifying energy and um illuminating energy and i just feel like i just feel so like you could be the type like what you're like another reason why you're so pretty i'm just getting a lot of messages and i'm like about to be tongue tied but another reason why you're so pretty is i feel like you are very like inspiring and you might not notice this pile one but i know that's not a physical attribute but i'm getting from your soul traits like what makes you so pretty is that you just you always like uplift people and you always find the beauty and everything. You could be an artist, you could paint, and you're not like a professional artist, you just like to create art. You're very expressive and people are very drawn to this and they feel like this is what makes you pretty. I'm really getting this energy of your, your pretty, like pile one, you're pretty from the inside out. Like you're very um, stunning on physical appearance as well. I feel like um, reds and pinks look reds pinks and greens look very very beautiful on you and blues is what i'm getting i'm really getting red and pink so and white red pink and white looks very beautiful on your skin um what else makes you very pretty i don't know it's like being around you is like a, a weight lifted off people's shoulders like you just make people feel like that empress energy people feel like they could give you like people feel like they can come to you with like a seed or something like this could be thoughts concerns um fears doubts insecurities and they they feel like people feel like they can trust you with these seeds and you'll illuminate them you'll you'll help them grow you'll 
tell them something beneficial um you always tell them something beneficial or you're the type of energy where they they feel like they can count on you and you uplift them and make them feel great about themselves you just have like this very like a lot of people can envy you as well pal one because you're beautiful inside and out like i'm just getting a like a delicate flower like you're you're blooming as well during this time a lot of growth is coming into your life where you the more growth and more growth and healing that you're doing you're just like amplifying your beauty like you are beautiful before but people are very like you're just like people's tongues or people's mouths is like their jaw is dropping to the floor i think people immediately want to court you now people immediately want to do things for you now yeah the empress energy where you attract a lot of things you're very soft and it's like being around you don't have to sit i think another quality that makes you so pretty power one is that you have a very soft voice or you don't speak at all and people it's kind of like people have to kind of force you to talk or force you to say something or force you to like i don't know it's like you you it's like you are very feminine in that way where you don't have to be overly expressive because your energy your vibe your clothing your art your face you know everything put together on you physically it it already kind of vocalizes what you don't need to say much it already vocalizes how you're feeling I, I think another thing that makes you pretty proud one is the clothing you pick out is very unique, is what I mean. Your sense of style is what I'm hearing is very unique and very soft and pretty and girly. That's why I was getting reds and pinks and whites. Very, very healing energy that I'm getting from you. You got the hangman wanting to come out. You could have Pisces in your chart or Pisces rising moon, sun. Somewhere Pisces in your chart where... It's somewhere in your chart or in your houses. Pisces could be in your house somewhere that... This is why people find you the way they find you in an attractive way. Like why people think you're so pretty. Pisces has something to do with it. So check your charts and the different meanings of the 12 charts and i feel like for somebody it could resonate that pisces it has a reason why people think that you're so soft and you know i'm also getting mysterious in a way because people want to want to know why you don't smile as much because your smile is so beautiful why you don't you could be an introvert as well with the hangman yeah i think for your your introvert people notice this about you you don't really ha like you're so beautiful that you don't really have to go to the club that often you don't have to be seen that often you don't have to go to every you know social gathering most of the time i feel like you actually miss out on a lot of social gathering and this makes people wonder about you like when is such and such gonna come is such and such gonna appear i wonder if i'm gonna see such and such there you're probably not like i don't even think you know that people wonder about you this much even strangers at different stores i see you every now and then i don't know if you go to a particular place to get gas or to get snacks or to get food or to see movies or wherever you like to go every now and then people wonder like it, they probably don't even know your name and i feel like they're like oh is i wonder if i'm gonna see that girl or that guy today i wonder you know what i don't know i think even <laughs> people just notice a lot about you and i feel like you don't really you're you're very shy and this is what's so pretty too don't ever change yourself if you're like naturally shy is what is what i'm getting from this pile if you're naturally shy be naturally shy if you're naturally in your show and you're the introverted friend be the introverted friend because i think people this is why people trust you often this is why people come to you often because they feel like you're not so you're not quick to gossip is what i'm getting this is also a pretty quality and trait about you is that you don't gossip very feminine energy like you stay to yourself you mind your business you flourish in that way with the growth card it's like that it's like that you drink your water you mind your business like <laughs> you drink your water you mind your business you make your money whatever it is you tend to yourself you're not in drama that's another pretty quality this is what they find pretty about you knight of pentacles yeah it's just so shy i feel like you even like you cover up your body a lot i think like you could overly cover up your body with certain garments um you don't really have to overly show your body like that 
um i think you're very i think you're very body confident but you don't have to do too much you don't like doing too much and this makes people wonder a lot about you like a lot of people wonder about you a lot like a lot of people have you on your mind have you have you on their mind so i would be careful i would you this could be a, a you, if you feel drained this is why because i feel like a lot of you you live in a, a lot of people's minds rent free that you don't even know about i think that you would even be stunned to find out they think about you in this way magical energy is what i'm getting from the king of cups yeah you could be a water sign if not you just you could look like a water sign like you have a water sign aesthetic so power one i don't know if you have a, have a tumblr of some sort but there's some um tumblr accounts or that show like water sign aesthetics and risings and if you have a pisces rising if you have a scorpio rising or a moon this is how your aesthetic will look i just feel like you have this very like nurturing aesthetic to you very soft very pleasant very vintage as well you could be you do a lot like what's pretty about you probably is you have a lot of natural qualities about you i feel like you don't wear a lot of makeup if you do wear makeup it's very soft and flattering to your face and to your skin i'm also getting what makes you pretty is you have very very cute facial structures and very you have very like nice skin so if you didn't know you have nice teeth and skin you do you have very you have a very pretty you have very pretty skin and teeth a very pretty mind with the hangman a very unusual mind but a very pretty mind like a lot of people don't want to change you they want you to stay how you are yeah they don't a lot of your friends and lovers and they 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 find you so pretty paul one that they don't want you to change anything about you unless you want to but i think as you're changing and growing whatever you're doing and choosing to do and choosing to change about yourself is amplifying your beauty you look so good you could be having a lot of suitors coming out of nowhere a lot of king of cups energy so a lot of people that are actually serious that want to be serious and a lot of you know people that court you that fall in love in like two days a week max and they've already fallen for you because you're just it's i'm getting this energy of like it's so hard not to fall for you even friends have crushes on you. It's so hard not to fall for you, Power One. Like, fall in love with you. It's hard not to obsess over you with the Eight of Swords. Like, like I said, you have, like, people wonder if you're going to come through. People wonder if you're going to show up. People wonder if they're going to catch you out. People, it's weird. It's a lot of weirdos, too. <laughs> so, don't let them drain you, because I think they're all kind of, like, you could just be like, damn, I didn't even, I just woke up and I feel drained. This could be why. A lot of people on social media think about you. Like, they think when you're going to post, when you're going to post a new picture. When you're going to post a new story. You might not even post on your story of your face that much. I know these are like, now these are just random <laughs> things that people like and wonder about you. But I'm really getting that you don't really, you could cover up your face a lot. I'm getting with the hair here you're very mysterious like a like a scorpio if you're not a scorpio but if you are this is it makes sense but you have it's like something very like girly about you and very <laughs> people can't you're so lovable another thing that's so pretty about you and about your personality is that it's so easy to get along with you and it's so easy to relate to you you're so relatable and you're so genuine with the yeah, earthy colors you're so genuine and down to earth that it's it's hard not to relate with you like people can't pick arguments with you people can't it's so hard not to like you and love you power one so <laughs> people could just instantly be like crushes could be like if thinking that they're in a relationship with you <laughs> friends could even want a relationship with you pa one you are so like uh pretty i can just feel it your aura doing this reading it's like i don't want to leave i've been dragging this reading because it's like uh, i just want to you could have a lot of tag along <laughs> friends that come over and want to be around your friends that just won't go home or friends that love 
your home or being around you spending the night being your energy a lot of people that a lot of lovers that tend to like exes still stalk you they people don't like to let go of your energy power and this is why you're so comforting and beautiful and pretty um and it's like you don't age as well a lot of water signs you don't age to me that's just my personal opinion but i just feel like even if you're not a water sign i'm just seeing like your aesthetic looks like a water sign where you're just you don't freaking age you look young in the face very very you have a baby face in this pile no matter what, what your age is right now watching this you still have a baby face people love this people might actually think you're younger a lot of the times think you're younger than what you are um <laughs> could be a little insecure about this but i think that's like a compliment honestly you don't want to look super old or older than what you are so <laughs> you just that means you have very good um you have very good genes and so are your kids um so that's what i have for you on what makes you so pretty part one if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post Hello pal two, welcome to your reading. So if you chose a hematite, ground yourself. This will be what people think is so pretty about you. Um, what is so attractive about you. I'm already thinking I'm getting your aesthetic, <laughs> but I'm gonna still pick some cards. First of all, it's hard not to look away. It's hard to not look away from you. Oh, for some of you guys, it's hard not to look away from you for some people. But then some people, it's, it's hard to make eye contact with you. And if they do make eye contact with you, they immediately look away. You have a very intimidating energy about you, pal, too. Even if you don't find yourself intimidating. It, even if you are very feminine. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman in this pile. It's something about your energy that's very powerful and people can't ignore it. Like, I know this sounds weird and crazy, but it's like people, you know how some people can hide their emotions or how hide how they're feeling or I don't know. It's like people can dilute their energy or I think a lot of the times... It's something very strong about your emotions in this pile. Very strong. Very, very strong. I'm getting this energy of you can't be fake. <laughs> and if you are being fake, people will know. Because your face will express as will tell it all. I don't... I feel like... For, <laughs> for some of you guys, you could be kind of horrible at customer service. Because it's like when you feel away, you're gonna feel away. Like you, it's hard for you to even fake at work. <laughs> we got the wolf to kind of like clarify your energy. It's like <laughs> I, I feel like this is what's pretty though. I feel like uh, like you're different. You're very very different. Like eye contact with you is very intense um you're a psychic in this pile definitely a psychic you have some type of psychic abilities honestly or some type of like um foresight or something like that then we got ground yourself and what i'm getting from that is like you just you could yeah i think for some of you guys you have all like you know you're psychic you have all clairvoyance is here very strong energy you don't like disrespect you don't like you know things that aren't fair you're like a no bullshit type of person that could be what's really pretty about you or very attractive i don't even think i mean i'm getting what's pretty but it's what's very attractive and what's sexy about you it's like a sexy um grown energy from you for some of you guys you can switch out of this you can go from very pretty and empress vibes to very like don't fuck with me like do not fuck with me today <laughs> and it's like people move out of your fucking way people kind of already even if you don't say it like that because i'm not getting that you're disrespectful but i'm getting that it's just your energy is kind of like people already know 
whether you're in a good or a bad mood <laughs> male or female I don't care people know when to play around with you when to joke and when not to play around with you when like people just know and I feel like people don't want to feel that wrath a lot of people are scared to do you dirty and if they do you dirty for this part I think they get a lot of fucking karma you could have a Libra ancestor watching over you and Libras do not play Libra um, angel guide up there or you could be a Libra or Libra placements or it's just something like the, just something to do with the karmic skills in your, in your pile you're very well grounded this is what's so pretty about you you're very grounded and you can stand on your own two feet. You don't need help. You could ask for help, but you don't, if they say no, they can't help you, you go out and get it. You can do it, your, do it by yourself. I'm getting a very masculine energy. I think you, for some of you guys, since you're so well grounded, you know how to be masculine and feminine. But I'm getting what's so pretty about you. People really, really like when you're in that masculine energy because some of you guys you could look soft some of you guys your appearance you could be a dual sign i'm sorry you could be a mutable sign or you have a mutable moon you have a mutable sun or a rising you have mutable signs somewhere in your chart that has to do with um attraction for some of you guys where when you feel feminine you look feminine when you feel masculine you look masculine so it's no in between. People can't figure you out, and this is what also is so pretty about you, Pao Tzu. And that you're very fucking intimidating. Like, um, a lot of girls could feel like they don't want you around their man. A lot of guys could feel like they don't want you around their girlfriend, because it's like. What's pretty about you is you know who you are. Ooh, I'm getting a very, like, I'm getting chills for some reason looking to the wolf's eyes. This is how people can feel about you, and it's just like, you do not fuck around. I want to do the sexual magic with all this orange and red and yellow. What is so pretty about Pao Tzu? Your eyes are very beautiful very very um stoic what does stoic mean pretty pretty eyes pretty round eyes pretty if not round big big pupils big um some of you guys if you have dark brown eyes it makes your eyes look very like i can't intense very beautiful your face looks very unique as well um, some of you guys, what makes you pretty is the fact that your face, if your face isn't so, so symmetrical, like not completely even, this is what's so beautiful and unique about your facial structure. Like if you have eyebrows a little bit bigger, I mean higher, even that, I think you, for some of you guys, you're so pretty too, could you change up your look a lot with your mood for some of you guys? Um, you come off as sexy though. I think that's why I wanted to pull the sexual magic. You come off as sexy. <laughs> more and more than pretty. You are very pretty, but you come off as sexy when you want to be. You come off as sexy when you're in this masculine energy. But you come off as pretty when you're in that feminine energy. But I'm more so getting that people just, I don't know. Maybe you resonate with your masculine energy right now. And that's why I'm mostly picking up on this, but. Ooh, a lot of blacks, reds, oranges that look red look very pretty on you. Black looks very pure, pretty on you. Keep wearing black if you like, yeah, the black tights here. Black looks very good on you. People find you very pretty when you wear black. Very powerful. Some of you guys, your hair could be black. This is what's so pretty. You recently just dyed it black or...
some of you guys if you if you dye your hair and your roots are growing back black or dark brown or whatever this is very pretty this is what they find very pretty about you is your roots growing back in or whenever your roots do grow back in if it's just jet black or dark brown or anything um they like this People can't look away from you. I just keep staying at the whip card. It's like hard not, you could, <laughs> some of you guys, you could take offense to people staring at you, but people just can't stop fucking looking at you. We got the Hierophant. Yeah, very spiritual. Um, it's the High Priestess counterpart. Ooh, but it's just something about your spirituality that's very comes off very masculine, and it, a lot of people get caught up, caught up in karma with you. Cause something about your energy, you're not you don't play about what's wrong, what's right, <laughs> and you don't play about your heart. That's one thing you don't play about is you are very passionate. That could be another thing that's very attractive and pretty about you, pal. Too is you do not play about your feelings and about love. When you're in love with someone. They know they'll get it. Like it's something about a lot of <laughs> a lot of your lovers can find you very scary, and they don't want to fuck. Like a lot of lovers could also not want to get into a, a relationship with you until they have all their shit together. And if yeah, people just somehow know not to get in a relationship with you and play with your heart. It's kind of giving like fatal attraction. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna go there, but. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> you might end up on the news if they fuck with your heart. And they might end up in the hospital. That's for some of you guys, but that's good what people find so attractive about you is you're just very, some people can like that darkness, you know, like that powerful, dark feminine energy, masculine, but feminine energy. A lot of people love that shit. So don't change for anybody. A lot of people can handle that shit. And a lot of people just can't handle that shit. They're not man enough for you. They can't handle that. You could watch a lot of scary movies alone by yourself. Like, I don't know why random things are coming through right now. And it's just tickling me right now. Like, something about your energy where it's like... People just know what, like, even friends know not to say certain shit around you. Unless you ask for their opinion. <laughs> but other than that, you don't give a fuck. You're yourself. Very, very confident. That's what's also what's sexy about you, pal, too. Is you're, you, radiate, you radiate a lot of confidence. And when you feel insecure, you still look and act confident. And I don't think you, if you, I don't know if you noticed that. But when even when you feel very, very insecure and you feel like this shows on your physical appearance, it does not. You still look very in charge of your life and very confident and very like you walk with your head head held high. And if you aren't if you don't always walk with your head held high, you should because you're very beautiful and you look very confident. But I think most of you guys you're learning to walk with your head held high and to be confident who you are. Or you just learned this is something you or some of you guys this is something you will learn i'm just like predicting it you you are gonna start walking with your head held high in your sexuality some of you guys people what okay so what's pretty about you pal too is that you're comfortable in your sexuality and if not right now fully you will be and this is what will be so pretty about you you're not ashamed of your sexuality. You're not ashamed of what you're into sexually. You don't, some of you guys, you, it's like. Some of you guys, you could be a feminist of some sort. Or you don't slut shame. You don't kink shame, I'm hearing. You don't kink shame. You have a few kinks of your own. Maybe. If you're freaky for this pipe in this pile. Um, people find your hair very beautiful. I think I said that already, but the way he's cutting her hair. People find your hair very beautiful and strong. 
yeah, his hand is on her hair. And he's cutting it right here. So people find your, like, your eyes very beautiful. Whatever size, whatever. Especially when you, you put on the um, wing eyeliner from this picture. It looks like if you once you put on your lashes as well, your lashes make it, your eyes look beautiful without lashes. Is what Spirit wants me to tell you. It came through strongly. But when you put on dark eyeliner colorful eyeliner or lashes it makes your eyes look very very beautiful you should embrace your eyes maybe you're insecure about your eyes a little bit maybe you have hooded eyes you have dark circles on your eyes your eyes look beautiful even though they're intense and for the people that are scared to look you in your face you they just don't like you have a strong energy about you and some people are scared of that because they're scared of their dark yin yang I think it's yang the masculine dark energy but anyways i'm not sure but whichever one of the yin and yang is masculine if they're scared of that in you they're scared of that in themselves and most of the nine times out of ten they don't use that energy in themselves that's why they stray away from you or they tend to not like eye contact with you pal too but this is nothing to be ashamed about um what else was i getting yeah um about your physical appearance that's so pretty your hair your eyes the fact that your face isn't completely symmetrical. Some of you guys, your, your face isn't symmetrical at all. This is very beautiful. I just really feel like for Pile 2, what makes you so pretty is your flaws. Or what you perceive to be as your flaws. That's what I was getting. Like, what you think are flaws, people like them. People think they're pretty. So all the flaws, all the things you think are flaws, they think that's pretty as hell. Or they find it attractive that you have them. They make you look unique. They make you look strong. So if you have like acne scars, you have scar like if you have like scars, I'm getting scars. Some of you guys have stretch marks. Some of you guys have like like scars from like childhood um beauty marks, something. Something to do with like your skin having something unique on it. People actually find it pretty on you. Whatever it is. Very, very pretty. So, that's what I have for you, um, Pao Tsuan. What's so pretty about you? That was very intense <laughs> for me to tap into. So, if it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post. Hello, Pao 3. So, if you chose Golden Healer Quarks, open the door. This will be what is so pretty about you. Um... I'm excited to see what's so pretty about you, Pile 3, because I've never used this card. Um, it's my first time seeing this card. So let's just see what's so pretty about you. What is so pretty? About Pile 3. Pretty about Paul Three's book. Cleanse. Can I have a water moon. I got that right off the bat. Let me not flow. Definitely can I have a water moon. If not, it's fine. But I'm just kidding. Water moon. A screaming water moon. <laughs> Or a screaming water moon aesthetic. You just like you look like you have a water moon. Um, so what is attractive about you, Pal Three? What is so pretty about you? You could have curly hair. That is very pretty. People like love your curly hair. If it's not curly, they you have natural hair in this pile. They love this about you. They love your natural hair. They love your natural beauty. Yeah. For you, Pile 3 is your natural beauty. Like, people, you don't, people, a lot of people think you don't need makeup. Most of you guys, you don't wear makeup. You just put on mascara or lashes or whatever it is. You get your lashes done. But I feel like you don't need makeup. 
like your natural beauty speaks for itself people love this your natural hair for some of you guys they love when you wash your hair and it looks wet like that wet hair aesthetic look people think that's very very pretty when you go out and wear this you could not like it some of you guys you have big ears people like your big ears they think your ears are very pretty um some of you guys you have the aesthetic of a mermaid aesthetic of a fairy like you look very unearthly with all this water you look very like you could do cosplay or you have a very like childlike sense of style um you could have recently just cut your cut your hair and it looks beautiful you could have just did the big chop it looks beautiful um or if you just got bored with your hair and cut it it looks beautiful looks pretty some of you guys you just cut bangs it looks pretty something about your hair just looks pretty or your new appearance whatever you just did to your appearance looks very pretty um you have very pretty hands and feet a lot of men think your feet are so pretty like you have a lot of people like if they didn't have a foot fetish or they didn't suck toes or men would suck your toes men would suck your fingers as well kiss your hands kiss your feet drink your bath water is what i'm hearing <laughs> with all the yeah men would drink your bath water i'm getting that like admiration from you it's like giving me like you could do no wrong like you are like that you're the dream girl aesthetic but whatever dream girl aesthetic means to you is how you look and what's so pretty about you it's just you give me like the aesthetic of someone's dream girl are very dreamy like you can make potions for some of you guys or some of you guys you should get into making potions for healing something about healing here with cleanse and the healer quartz some of you guys people look at you or around you just to heal like sun gazing like they but they do this with you in your energy because it's so healing and powerful very feminine energy though i'm getting very feminine or it's just balanced here it's balance oh, you can have a lot of people that want to have sex with you power three like yeah a lot of people that want to enjoy you in that way because you're very enjoyable they a lot of people want to have sex with you just to heal a lot of people look at you admire you want to hang out with you just to heal a lot of people i don't know if you can realize probably three, but a lot of people are around you to discover who they are when it comes to like maybe okay so for some you attract a lot of people with traumas that are trying to figure out how to heal themselves that's why i'm saying you should start doing you know potions of some sort or your own healing method because a lot of people will stare at you or they're around your energy heal you have a lot of people that just get very sleepy and tired and want to rest around you um yeah because they feel safe around your aura your aura could be blue yeah you could be attracted to blues right now or you look very pretty in blues yeah this summer you look very pretty in blues, whites, peach, purple, like a, a periwinkle, um, uh, polka dots or stripes or things that, I don't know why I'm looking at this crystal in this one, in this one. It's like you would look really pretty and like, I don't know, it's like, uh, I'm really getting um, pur um purple blue and white though this summer but any color i feel like um that you're drawn to is valid you could be using your throat chakra more often and people feel like you have a very pretty voice yeah about three people feel like you have a very pretty voice when you talk they feel like they're being healed so what are you in this pile i'm kind of scared because it's like if you're not human and you're watching this hot like i don't know it's kind of like giving me like you're just like it's like you you're like an earth angel like you you kind of could feel like you don't belong here at certain times 
being around people drains you very fast <laughs> uh you could like water a lot so let me get some cards just to clarify the energy of getting any more additional messages we have the page of swords what's so pretty about you pop you're very smart something about your intellect here that's very healing it's like i'm getting the energy of like you you know it all but you don't act like a know it all because for some reason you you know that you don't know it all completely but it's like you have some sense of like i don't know then page of swords with the, i said the throat chakra something to do with your throat chakra and the the sound of your voice that people find very pretty your voice could match your physical appearance or yeah your voice is very pretty just like you is what i'm hearing a lot of lovers just want to hear you talk You got the hangman. Hmm. Yeah, people want to sleep around you. People want to cuddle with you, hold you, hear you talk. Some of you guys, they, people will listen to you talk till they fall asleep. <laughs> Um, a lot of all of your friends like like to hear sweet voice messages from you. Positive affirmations. You should send your friends and your lovers more voicemails or voice messages. Um, a lot of your friends and lovers want to be around you. Fuck texting you. You're someone that needs to be cherished. Is what I'm hearing very pretty energy could be an air or a water sign or have an air or water moon or sun don't have to be we got that honest yeah like i said people want to sleep around you cuddle you they don't some of you guys they don't even have to tell you their concerns because they're being healed by hanging out with you you have a very light and fun energy and you help people realize things with the hangman about themselves and not in swords. It could be very painful, but they know that you're not trying to harm them in no type of way. Um, it could be painful, but it, they know that it's coming from a, like, I don't know, something very earthly about you, pile three. So it, you could have a lot of sore throats often, something to do with your throat chakra this year. Or whenever you're watching this video whenever you watch this video and whenever it resonates to you something you're going through a transformation with your throat chakra i'm just getting emphasis on your your the sound of your voice sounds so fucking pretty it almost sounds like you're singing or some of you guys you you have a very pretty singing voice talking voice You talk to the divine as well. So let me what are you what is your physical? I wanna know like, how you look. Three of Cups. You have a lot of friends that think you're pretty. <laughs> and lovers, but I just feel like it's something Long dresses on you or dresses look pretty on you. Skirts, long skirts, long dresses, long blouses that open up in the front or just long sleeve. Things look very beautiful on you, very pretty. People find them very pretty on you. Um, you could actually cover up your body a lot. Like you don't like you don't let a lot of things show. I'm really getting some of you guys you could be Muslim. If not, it's just you. 
could be something about you that it's not it's not that people forget that you're pretty then we have the lovers It's not that people forget that you're pretty or they don't, it's not that they don't know you're pretty. It's just the fact that you, it's something about you that it's like your soul. Yeah, because I'm not really getting on no physical traits really from this pile besides your voice and your soul. Even though you could have been drawn to pile one or two, it's just for, for this pile, it's more so what's so pretty about you is like your soul and your voice. Spirit's not giving me so much inf information on your physical appearance, and I'm not knowing why. Some of you guys, you go by they, them. I don't think you are too much big on looks. And this could be what's so pretty about you. You do more healing and work on your soul than on your physical appearance and on money. You do soul healing and you're not really stuck on materialism in this pile. This would, could be so pretty about you, pile three. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. A lot of people just... I uh, want to cuddle, especially during the winter with you. It could be like the best cuddle, like person to spoon. Yeah, you get a lot of people that like want to cheat with you. Because their lovers could be abusive. Or their lovers, once people meet you, even if it's a friend, once they meet you, it's kind of like they want to be with you even if they're married some of you guys are very um attractive spiritually you attract people because of your soul like people's soul drift to you for healing and not knowing some of you guys the people that find you pretty they don't know why they find you so so pretty and alluring and unearthly and fragile and delicate and beautiful and like it's something about you where their eyes kind of like i don't know it's like but this is why their soul kind of drifts towards you with the seven of swords they need healing some of them some of these people it's kind of like i don't want to say this but you could be a medium as well that's why the throat chakra and all that because it's also like understanding i don't know i don't want to it could you could be a medium a lot of lost souls on the other side as well as in the physical because there's lost souls that are still alive trust me and when they die this is how lost souls on the other side are still lost because they were lost here and they didn't really do they didn't think they needed healing or they didn't do healing or they ran out of time to do their healing and now they're stuck on the other side lost you attract a lot of lost souls that find you very pretty off of your aura and off of your spirituality like your soul lights up this is why a lot of unhealed people find you very pretty. A lot of healed people find you pretty too, but a lot of unhealed people find you very, 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 very pretty, like to a very unhealthy point. But a lot of healed people find you pretty as well, Father. It's just the unhealed people are very, um, <laughs> are very like obsessive though with it, like obsessive, not the other nine of cups. For what makes you pretty? Then we got the Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Four of Cups. Yeah, you. Potions, what I was saying. You can make teas. That's a potion. You'll be really good at making teas. Maybe make tea for your friends or your lovers or soups. Something to do with potions here. You'll be really good at, but yeah. People find really pretty about you is that you have it all together. This is what makes you pretty. Is you have it. It's like what makes you pretty, Pile Three, is that you have it in you, not on you. Some of you guys, you have it in you and on you. But it's the fact that you know that your spirit lives on forever. 
So you try to do as much soul searching and soul healing as possible. And this is what makes you pretty to a lot of people and they notice this. You could feel like you, a lot of the times you aren't noticed, but you very much are. And if you, people don't appreciate you while you're in their life and you leave, that's the moment they know they fucked up with you. Cause you're like one of those people that it's hard to find. Like you are very like, it's hard to find someone like you. Narcissists come in your life, I think a lot too, pile three. And they try to make you feel like you're replaceable and they come to find out with the five of pentacles that you're not. And you get a lot of obsessive ex-lovers and friends if you have narcissistic. I think you do attract a lot of narcissistic, narcissistic friends as well. They want a piece of your spirit. Um, so I don't let nobody belittle you because I'm kind of getting that too. But I'm just getting that you're just so pretty spiritually like the main thing. I don't want to drag it. But yeah. That's what I have for you, Pile 3, on what makes you so pretty. If it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post.